What's up everybody? This is Jem and I am here to give you a little bit of a tutorial about something that you may not know is possible with the Dooley Squelchers specifically. In order to get to this tech, the first thing we're going to have to do is talk about Dooleys in general. Um, so I'm going to go into the practice room here with the CDS, but I'm actually going to swap onto some other Dooleys really quickly to show you some basic things about how these weapons work. And then after that, we'll be able to see what's actually different about the custom Dooley Squelchers, which the Dooley Squelchers is the same thing. Uh, CDS are the most common ones to use just because they've got a better sub weapon. So I usually refer to them as just the CDS or custom Dooley Squelchers. Anyway, so I've got the standard Dooleys here. He's gonna work the uh, way that standard Dooleys will work. Um, anything that's different is kind of a deviation from this weapon here. So you'll see, first of all, unlike shooter weapons, I've actually got these two circles out in front of me because I've got two guns. These two guns will alternate back and forth if I hold ZR like this, and you can see the shots are actually going from one gun and then the other gun and then back and forth, if you watch really closely there. Um, that is a feature, but it is also a bug, so to speak. You don't always want that to be the case because it makes it a lot harder to hit all of your shots. As you can see, keeping both reticles on one target is much more difficult, and if you don't have both of them on the same target, the time to splat is a lot slower because half of your shots are going to miss. Also, the shots are actually a little bit slower than the max firing speed that you get when you dodge roll. This fire speed, not only is it more accurate, which we'll talk about in a second, it's also just the bullets are coming out faster. Now, what you may have noticed there, if you looked closely at the reticles, is that when I rolled, I only have one circle now. That is because those two weapons align with each other, and now both shots are going to the same place. So on top of being faster, also more accurate. And this is the mode in which the dualies do the most damage. Um, so that fire mode is very fast, like the time to splat is extremely quick on that. However, there's a big trade-off here, which is that you have to commit to rolling. You, If you just try and spam roll, I'm mashing the B button right now, but I'm getting frozen in place after the second roll. That happens on every set of dualies except for the tetra dualies, which have four rolls, and then the same thing will happen. With the exception, in, in one small instance, of the custom dually squelchers. Custom dually squelchers have what's called jump tech that basically negates that, that lag time at the end of it. We'll talk about that in a second. So, with these duallys, you get basically one roll that you want to use for combat, and then maybe one roll to get out. And if you have to use both of those rolls, then you're kind of stuck in place and you'd better hope that you got to safety using them. Um, another thing is that those rolls take up a lot of ink. So you don't actually get as many shots if you just spam roll. See, I'm running out of it a lot faster. Um, and uh, different dualies will take a different amount of ink for each roll, but it is substantial on every set of dualies. Now, uh, one quick detour we'll make to talk about the uh, Tetras and what makes them different. Obviously, first, all the, first of all, they have four rolls before they get the stall. That's why they're called the Tetra Duelies, Tetra, four. Um, but uh, the other thing about them is that unlike with the standard Duelies, where as soon as you roll, you cannot fire until you reach the end of the roll and go into turret mode, the Tetras continue firing shots while you are rolling. So even as I am rolling back, I am still firing. And you can see the bullets going out there constantly mid-roll. So that's one little perk of having those. And that's one of the reasons that they're as strong a main weapon as they are. That you can be strafing and shooting at the same time. Which is something that almost no other weapon in the game can do. All right, let's get to what makes the CDS special here. The custom dually Squelchers. Um, again, this works with dually squelchers as well. That's just my habit. So, when you roll with the custom dually squelchers, you are able to jump out of that roll, and it doesn't have the same impact that it would have if you were doing this with the standard duallys. I am mashing the jump button here. That jump is coming out about as fast as it possibly can. You can see there's some lag time before I can jump. 
But now let's look at how that looks with the dually squelchers. So I go back. It's a much faster jump because the roll is quicker. And one little perk of that jump is that if you look really carefully at my reticle, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump out of that with the right timing here. And for a while, I still actually have the single reticle. It doesn't go away just because I jumped. With the other dualies, if you dodge roll and then start moving, you go back to double reticle. If you do this and then jump, you go back to double reticle. But with the CDS, you get a very significant amount of shots. Not the entire jump long with the single reticle, but for a large amount of that time. And so this allows you to basically be a moving target while still shooting in turret mode. And the other thing that you can do out of that jump is roll. So normally, you know, you get the two rolls and then you hit your cap and you can't do things for a little while. But if you roll, jump, and then roll, jump, and then roll, jump, you can basically do this until you run out of ink. And that's because the time that you're spending jumping is resetting the timer on your roll. So you can basically just kite back as long as you want, as long as you can execute this tactic with some degree of technical proficiency, which you know, I haven't played the CDS, so I'm not great at this yet. <laughs> but this is something that makes these weapons very difficult to deal with in one-on-one -on -one situations, because although they don't have the, a very fast kill time at all, it's just hard to get in range to hit them in the first place, because by the time you get in range, they're already doing damage because they have ridiculous range, and as you're closing distance, they're doing this to you and backing up and making it so you have to push even further in. Um, these weapons used in the right hands can go into 1v2s and 1v3s, and with good spacing and positioning, they can distract large amounts of the enemy team without really having to worry about getting splatted because they can just back up um, and if they get pushed too hard their teammates can collapse in and so um, especially in coordinated environments that's really powerful so this is something that makes the custom dually squelchers really unique that every custom dually squelcher who's getting kind of serious about the game should definitely take the effort in the training room to learn um, it will take some practice but it is definitely something that's doable for i think anybody of the skill level that would be starting to get interested in this uh, also, one very, very important thing about the custom dually squelchers, uh, when you roll, you're not using the custom dually squelchers anymore, you're using the dual squelcher from Splatoon 1. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, make sure to hit subscribe and check out the other videos, I do a whole bunch of instructional content on this sort of thing, so if you're interested in more of this, please hit like, please let me know what else you would like to see. Have a good one everybody.